Hello friends and welcome. This is my crystal collection and I hope that you enjoy. So starting off is this really juicy piece of heat treated amethyst slash citrine. It was one of my first like big pieces and I love it. This is a prionite specimen from India. It's nice and bubbly in this like blue green color and it's got some little stalactite formations on the bottom which I think is so cool and unique. This is a really cool large um, agate geode and it's nice blue gray color and nice and spiky on the inside. I like to imagine little fairies living inside here like a little cave. This is a super freaky dragon calcite um, from China. It's this amazing etched like red and white color. It looks like dragon scales. It feels very magical. Then right here we have my first polished piece that I'm showing today. Um, this is a beautiful moss agate tower. I love moss agates and this one has some druzy caves which is so nice. This is a really nice halite sphere. It's a great size. This is a rubellite sphere, kind of the same size as the halite, perfect for meditation. I will link all my favorite sellers down below. This is a petrified wood sphere. This sphere is a bit bigger, it's quite heavy, and it's so beautiful. This is my large quartz cluster. Look at that rainbow, look at those terminations. I love quartz. I can never get enough and this one is so nice and clear. This is just a classic. I feel like every crystal collector should have a large juicy chunk of rose quartz. So great, pretty inexpensive and just a really great like introduction to the crystal world. This weirdo is austenite and it's like kind of gross looking but in the best way that's like my favorite kinds of crystals are the ones that are like bumpy and kind of strange i love this one this is a really nice gemmy rhodonite um it's got a lot of chatoyancy and it's very very pink i think this is my only piece of rhodonite and i love it then we have this huge moss agate slab. Moss agate is one of my favorite crystals of all time. This one's got druzy caves. I use this to set my polished towers on and it's perfect. This next slab is a mouthful. It is auracalcite, chrysocolla, shatakite, and malachite. All in one beautiful polished slab. I love that piece. Then I have this mini skull friend. This is a peace jasper skull. Super pretty. I used to have more skulls, but I kind of got a bit less excited about them, so I downsized my collection a bit. This is one I did keep. This is a really nice natural citrine um, raven skull. I love this one. It has rainbows in it, and it's just something a bit different. This is the other mini skull that I ended up keeping from my collection. This is a really nice sparkly strawberry quartz skull. And that's my only piece of strawberry quartz in my whole collection. This is a super awesome raw malachite and chrysocolla piece. I got this from the Fasted Fern. They are one of my favorite places to get my crystals from. This one is so nice and weird. I love the weird crystals. This beauty is fairly new to me. It's a blue smoke Colombian quartz, and this is from the Mineral Crypt, who are also another favorite of mine. I will link all of these sellers down below. This is my only large skull, and this one is so cool and weird. It's a chrysocolla skull, and it's got this like hole in the side of his head where there's like chrysocolla druzy all inside. He's creepy and like potentially haunted, but I love him. This is a little epidote in quartz cluster. This one is like so beautiful. It's like autumn in a crystal to me. The 
this is a sweet little sweet water calcite. Um, super great phantoms and it self stands on that bottom part there so it's really great to display. This is a Lemonite Spirit Quartz. This is my only piece of Spirit Quartz in my collection. I am really picky about Spirit Quartz. I love this one although it does kind of look like a loaf of bread on the bottom. This is a polished Brazilian amethyst root. You've probably seen these ones raw all around the crystal Instagram place, but um, this one is polished and definitely one of my favorite pieces. It was not cheap, I will say, but so worth it. This is my chlorite in quartz point. This is one of the first crystals that I saw in a store and I was like, I need. So that one will always be with me. This is a super cool azurite on petrified wood. Um, the azurite on here is like so, so vibrant. It's kind of hard to show, but there you can see a little bit. This is a sweet little ocean jasper point. I like it because it's got all of these caves and it looks like it's hardly holding itself together, which is like, same. This is a super cool little pink quartz specimen. I don't have a lot of smaller pieces, but I do have a few very special ones. This is another one of those. This is a spiky orange calcite and it UV reacts and it's like one of my favorite crystals ever because it looks like a hedgehog. This is a Cantera fire opal egg. You can see that some of the oval uh, spots are flashy, some of them are not, but it's all around very beautiful. This one is a candle quartz, and I like it because it's not the like typical opaque white candle quartz. It does have a little bit of clarity at the tip, and there's actually a rainbow in there, but I just couldn't get it to show. This beauty is a sparkle cloud, aka Druzy Quartz over Chalcedony. You can see the back is like super freaky looking, but somehow this beautiful masterpiece formed over that, so go Mother Nature. This beauty is a Bingham Fluorite, and it's got the most amazing color zoning. This was my first like piece of fluorite that wasn't polished, and now I can't stop. This is a chunky, large amethyst point. Um, as I mentioned, I tend to go for like raw minerals more than polished pieces, so a piece has to be really special if I'm gonna buy a polished one. And this one was just beautiful. This crazy thing is quartz, calcite, hematite, and pyrite over fluorite. And my best friend actually has a matching piece and they fit together like a puzzle. Um, which is sweet, it's like a friendship rock. Here's one of my many spheres, this is flower agate. I got super obsessed with flower agate a few months ago and I couldn't stop thinking about it and so I bought myself this sphere and it's all the flower agate I ever need. This is another kind of freaky one, this is just this little like copper friend. Um, I like him, I think he looks like he's kind of alive, which is cool. Um, and then next up is my Peruvian pink opal sphere. Um, pink opal can get a lot pricey. Um, so I ended up going for just a smaller sphere so I can enjoy the material but not break my budget. And then next up is this Connie Calcite. This is a super like mesmerizing green color and it's sparkly and it's got druzy caves, and it really just looks like an alien. I love it. And then I have this wild, double-sided UV reactive calcite. Um, it UV reacts to this like super bright pink. And then it's also got patches of chloride quartz on it. So yeah, I could stare at this thing for hours. This is a bumblebee jasper sphere. Again, um, bumblebee jasper can get a little bit pricey, so I opted for a smaller sphere. 
I love this one. I have also got this baby rose quartz sphere. This was one of my first spheres, I think, and it does have like a star asterism, but obviously just didn't show in the clip. This is a little bumblebee jasper freeform. I really love the colors of bumblebee jasper. This is another strange one. I think it'll probably be hit or miss for some people, but it's this kind of freaky Moroccan cave calcite and it's sparkly and yeah, I don't know what to say about it. This is a an all-around people pleaser. This is just a classic smoky quartz point. It has some beautiful rainbows. It's got great clarity and it is natural from Brazil. Speaking of smoky quartz, this was my first ever sphere and this is a little smoky quartz sphere. Beautiful clarity, I love that one. This is a white labradorite tower and it's got the most amazing rainbow flash. Um, I'm such a sucker for like orange flash, so this one is so special. This is a teensy tiny little manifestation quartz tower. Um, what that means is there's a crystal growing into the crystal. So cool, it's the only piece I have like it. This is a large, very cool ocean jasper sphere. It's got this gigantic cave in the front that's all orange and druzy, and then around the back you can see some more druzy caves and just the most beautiful patterns. Next up is this pyrite. Um, I think, yes, this is calcopyrite and it's from Bulgaria. Um, it's got some like orangey tones and if you look at it exactly the right way, it kind of looks purple. This is a Druzy Chalcedony with some pyrite on it and some other stuff. It's kind of one of those like conglomerate specimens, which is my favorite. This is a quote unquote snow moss agate sphere. Basically it's just moss agate, but instead of being primarily green, it is primarily white. This is a pretty like basic one. It's just a nice orange calcite. This thing is so cool. It's this um, old stock Inner Mongolian quartz with arsenal pyrite. And I just am fascinated by the way that that grew. I love when crystals like grow in weird directions. This is a nice little Brazilian natural citrine tower. It's really nice, very clear towards the top. Next up is one of the first towers I think I ever got myself, and this is a tourmalated quartz. This beauty is a fluorite on white aragonite from Chihuahua, Mexico. Um, the matrix tends to be a little bit crumbly, so I have to handle it with care, but it's beautiful to stare at for sure. This is a beautiful quartz cluster. It's one of my favorite pieces in my entire collection. My lovely boyfriend got it for me. This is a kind of jasper called Wonderstone, or at least that's its trade name. It's just very cool. It's kind of partly polished, and I met the people who polished it, and they were so nice. This is a crazy cool blue inner mongolian fluorite um i just am so fascinated with the way the fluorite grows in these little bubbles and when you backlight them they show up this like beautiful beautiful bright blue but they're beautiful even without the backlighting this is a piece of black tourmaline and it's got this cool kind of iridescent spot on the front 
This sphere is manganocalcite and it UV reacts super bright pink. Um, and at the top there's some little like pyrite inclusions, which I'm a sucker for some good pyrite. This one is a super nice yellow apatite specimen. This is my personal Lemurian quartz piece. I like it, it's long and slender and it feels really good in my hand, which is the most important thing. This is a grape agate egg. Um, so cool, it's polished around the sides and then obviously the front and back are left raw so you can see that cool grape formation. This is a disco quartz. Um, I love disco quartz. I have another one coming up to show you, but for now, there's that one. This is a natural citrine from Zambia, I think, I believe. Beautiful, kind of smoky, I love it. This is a super dark piece of chrome chalcedony. Um, it's kind of hard to pick up, but it kind of just looks like a fuzzy moss agate, and when it's in the sun, it shines like crazy. This beauty is a Linwood calcite with marcasite and pyrite, and I love calcite. Um, it's one of my favorite kinds of specimens to collect, and Linwood is amazing. This is a Labradorite sphere. Um, kind of hard to pick up the flash on this one, but when you do, it's like so worth it. I, as you can see, I'm trying my very best here, but it wasn't really working out. Um, but there, there's a little orange, and there's some purple, and some pink, and then of course the classic blue and green as well. This is just a sweet, teensy little um, rutilated quartz tower. I'm not a huge, huge fan of rutilated quartz, but I love that baby tower. This one is also kind of hard to pick up the flash, but it's just a small Cantera Fire Opal from Mexico, and it does have some purple flash in there. This is a Brandberg Amethyst Scepter. It's like the most fascinating thing to me. Um, the colors are so bold and beautiful. This is my Amphibole Quartz specimen. Um, I love Amphibole Quartz. I carry this one around with me like every day. This beauty is a piece of bismuth that was actually gifted to me by my best friend, um, so thank you, Natalie. And then this beauty was gifted to me by my friend Anna, um, who so kindly got it for me when she was on a trip, and that's just a beautiful piece of pyrite. This is a cobra jasper. Um, it's kind of just like a mix of some various jasper and it was found in one specific area. This is my Charoite point. One day I would love to have a Charoite sphere, but for now this point definitely satisfies my Charoite cravings. This is a beautiful rainbow moonstone sphere. I didn't really used to love moonstone, but then I found this sphere and completely fell for it. It has this really great flashy spot right there. This was my first ever point, and this is a sulfur in quartz point. I got it for like really cheap, and I still love it. This weirdo is hematite on quartz from Chihuahua, Mexico, and this one also has some pyrite. It's crazy, it's like the whole one side is coated with hematite and the whole other side is not. And then the bottom has all this insane like self-healing terminations. This is my Azurite on quartz. So cool, um, there's some like light blue coating to the quartz and then also of course these beautiful um, Azurite blueberries on there. This is my lithium quartz cluster. I love lithium quartz. I love any like pink or purple minerals. That's a personal favorite of mine. This 
is Astrophilite, and I really like it. I think it's super cool. This is another pretty weird one. It's a green grossular garnet. Um, I really like the color. It's like kind of like pea soup, but <laughs> I don't mind. This is that other disco quartz I was talking about. This one is small, so it's on a stand, um, but it's like this really cool twin formation. This is one of my absolute favorite crystals that I own. It's this amazing, amazing, amazing cobalt twin calcite. My awesome boyfriend got this for me and I love it so much. It's so bright and juicy and amazing. How many times can I say amazing? Okay, this is Desclozite from Mexico. Um, oh, okay. Yep, yeah, there it is. Desclozite, Mexico. Um, cool. It looks like sparkly. It's a sparkly rock. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> this thing is so cool. It's pyrite in and on quartz. And quartz is on fluorite so there's fluorite on the bottom as you can see um, and then the pyrite is both coating and included in the quartz on the top one of my absolute favorite pieces again I love quartz and can never get enough continuing my love of calcite this is a super cool gray sweet water specimen and it has the most amazing phantoms and the most amazing like etching and there's pyrite on it I could stare at it forever. I'm in love with this thing. This is a super, super cool fluorite with like micro crystalline quartz on it and then this like pyrite blotch. It looks like a snowy mountain. I love it. This beauty is an amethyst flower. It just blows my mind that there are so many different ways that crystals can grow. This was my Christmas gift from my boyfriend. It's my favorite crystal ever. I've wanted vanadinite for so long and he picked me out the perfect piece. It's got a mixture of these like big chunky terminations and little baby ones. I love that so much. This looks like a quartz cluster, but if you look closer, you will see that it is danbrite. And this one has some of the most amazing rainbows I've ever seen. And it's nice and sparkly. And it's my only piece of Danbrite. Okay, this is hilarious because you can see that I'm struggling to hold this up. Um, it is a very large Apophyllite and Stillbite. Um, it's like literally so hard for me to hold up. You, the camera can't even focus because I'm like shaking. But anyways, that's my biggest piece that I own. I love it. This is a barite and pyrite specimen on fluorite. So the bottom is this amazing fluorite and the top is barite and pyrite and it looks like that. So cool. I love sparkly things and I love anything on top of fluorite. This is a lodolite or garden quartz. Um, it's partially polished, so the top has been polished, but the bottom has not. Um, it's beautiful. It does have some rainbows in it. When I bought it, I knew I had to have it, even though it was a little bit pricey. This is a hematite and pyrite on quartz on fluorite. You can see a theme. I love a good quartz on top of fluorite. Um, this one's so cool. I love all the baby terminations. This is a mouthful. So this is sphalerite rosettes, which are the little red things, on top of marcasite and calcopyrite. And then the bottom is all this druzy. Um, super cool, amazing to look at, could get lost in this, 10 out of 10. This is a raspberry ennui fluorite from China. And it has some druzy quartz and some pyrite on the matrix as well. I love this one. It does like self-stand perfectly upright, so it's a great display piece. This is my Herkimer Diamond. I never in my entire life thought that I would have a Herkimer Diamond this big. 
I'm obsessed with it. I will never let it go. It is full of rainbows. I want to take it with me everywhere. And then last but not least is this Spanish blue barite. Um, amazing. It's like celestite, but better in my opinion. It's got the same color, but cooler formation. Thanks for watching. That is my whole entire crystal collection. I hope you have a wonderful day.